Today, I'm gonna show you how to instantly 10X any image just by simply uploading an image. Now, of course, you can easily do this in ChatGPT just by uploading it and saying, improve my prompt. However, that way was so two years ago. What we wanna do now is really take things up a notch, especially with the new additions of AI video in Midjourney, because ultimately- I can't wait to see this. If you wanna generate AI videos, you first wanna have an image that looks incredibly crisp and realistic. And the best way to do that is to know exactly how the prompt to get that. But what if you already have an amazing image that you love? I'm gonna give you a prompt generator that you're gonna plug in the chat GPT and based off a visual inspection of that image, chat GPT will then give you an amazing prompt that will 10X your image. But not only that, it is instructed to utilize and use those very valuable hidden tokens that create images just like these. So let's say for an example, let me open up these images right here. Now I'm in my prompt portal database. This is gonna be like the best database ever for AI images and AI videos. But let me just show you, the proof is in the pudding. If I open up these images right here. Hey guys, if you want the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. This is gonna be from the TV show Game of Thrones. So in order to achieve levels of realism like that, you need to know what type of specific tokens to use. For an example, to achieve this level, mention this camera, but also that bokeh.sim effect and how about even something like this simply by referencing instagram.export a lot of little secret tips so what we're going to do is do just that by just simply uploading an image which brings us to what i'm going to give everybody today I'm gonna give you a specific prompt generator that when you paste it in along with your image to where you're gonna get some highly detailed prompts with these specific tokens mentioned, which will look great when you convert them to video like this. Okay, so now we are in my prompt generators database. This database is probably gonna be the most valuable one. Hey there, make sure you subscribe my AI friend. We're gonna to head to this one over here. Open it up, it's called my top secret image reference 10X prompt plus image enhancer. Go ahead and copy the whole entire thing. Now, as a quick reminder, if you don't have access to these databases, no problem. Every single prompt I share in my videos are always available 100% free to use via the link in the description. And I don't know if you know this, but I actually do have a 1000 prompt database in one of my community posts completely for free for anybody to use. But like I said, let's go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt just like this. We'll go ahead and use chat GPT, but why don't we also go ahead and maybe give Gemini some love as well. Let's go ahead and paste this prompt in both like this. But remember, we also need to include a specific image, okay? In this prompt specifically, you could see right here, I give it five example secret tokens to use, not only to maybe include these, but I instruct ChatGPT to include similar ones. So what I'm gonna do is simply click and drag an image in here and now just drop it just like this. And now for quick reference, you can see this is gonna be the original image that I just dropped into ChatGPT. So now with that image over here attached, now before I hit submit, let's also bring this in to Gemini as well. Okay, hit this plus button, upload files, or simply click and drag this one in just like this as well, right there. ChatGPT is already strong at work. This image already holds strong cinematic weight, but I'll now elevate it into a 10X enhanced prompt, sharper realism, richer textures, hyper accurate detailed, and the icing on a cake, secret tokens that trigger elite level output. And now just like that, look, 10X enhanced AI image prompt this large one right here, and we're also going to actually add all of these tokens as well, okay? Now, scrolling down, let me know if you want to adjust anything specifically, a tighter or wider shot, and different movement or multiple frames for story progression. I always recommend paying attention to the follow-up. Let's go ahead and do that, copy that, and paste that in because what we wanna do now is see if we can start with the first frame and then get even multiple frames. And now that's exactly what we're gonna get with multiple scenes, okay? So let's let this continue to finish. Let's see what Gemini provided us. Same thing. Here's my expert analysis, an image assessment and 10X enhanced strategy. Lighting, camera, composition. Wow, more detailed than ChatGPT. Full prompt. Here is the complete mastercrafted one. One point perspective. All right. Scrolling down, let us see what else it provided us. Deconstruction of the prompt and secret tokens. And here is why this prompt works. 
Okay, perfect. It even specifies exactly why this specific camera is going to work as the secret token, because this is a top tier cinematic setup. So whenever you do see something like that, where it says this is going to be top tier, I would highly recommend copying and pasting this somewhere if you have a database and keeping this for future use and reference. Scrolling down, I love the amount of details it's going to give us. So I like that. Good. So we're going to do two things. We're going to go ahead and copy each of these prompts. We'll first start with this one right here. Copy the whole thing. Now, it looks like it is already crafted for mid-journey. So let's go ahead and open mid-journey up. Paste it in. Make sure my aspect ratio is going to be more of a landscape 16.9. Okay. Back over to chat GPT. Let's now do this one with the 10x enhanced prompt. Copy this whole entire thing like this. We'll go to mid-journey one more time, but I'll also do it in free pick my personal favorite and now the reason why i love free pick is because of some of my favorite models are in here i love mystic and even flux realism realism is already populated we'll generate that and we'll also do it in mystic we'll go with 2.5 flexible perfect okay now you can see how fast flux is already done we're gonna get some very good looking images let's go to mid journey wow look at all of these okay we're gonna start at the top i'll tell you right now just the comparison of the two yeah for sure look at this just the comparison again that's the original let me go back to the first one in mid journey you can tell right off the bat that it is definitely a big difference there is my new 10x one there's my original one definitely better levels of detail look at this again comparison way more detailed and more crisp beautiful now this is all mid journey right here wow now this one is great again the differences huge difference in level of detail okay now this one was using i believe mystic 2.5 flexible there it is in free pick that's the original one amazing and this one in flux is even better so i think listen the details are gonna matter but even when you let's say use a tool like free pick for an example which i'm in right now let's say i did like this one hit that download button but before i do i'll even upscale it even more and in free pick utilizing magnific and my scale factor i'll just go ahead and leave it 2x standard ultra okay so if i did this and upscaled it it's even gonna look more detailed and more better perfect to generate amazing looking videos now speaking of video since we already have mid journey opened let's go ahead and see how this turns out when i actually do convert this into a video because ultimately that is going to be the end goal i really want to create some good looking ai videos and it's going to be important to do that by having good looking images okay so let's go and scroll through these and simply pick one out that we like i think i kind of like this one it's going to have the most sort of a comparison, a lot more detailed. Bottom right-hand corner, let's now select animate image. I'll select low motion. And now just like that, it is being generated for videos at the same time. Now, once this one in free pick is done being upscaled, I'll then also convert this upscaled one in free pick to get a even crisper and clearer AI video. Okay, well, it does look like our upscaled version is done in free pick. Wow, amazing. Let's go ahead and now download this one. And now there it is. Look how amazing this looks. So now since we're here, let's select create video. I am now gonna choose my model. For this one specifically, let's go ahead and let's go with Minimax Hiluo O2. And now we're gonna have two to compare, okay? Back over to mid journey very quickly. Look at this. Oh, wow, look how amazing this video turned out on mid journey. That's definitely worthy of a download. Again, this one as well, a little bit different with that zoom, another one where she's walking and now fourth and final goodness. Mid journey video is becoming, wow, look at that detail. Mid journey AI video is definitely in my opinion, top three. Okay. So not only do we get just one video, we're going to get multiple ones when we use the combination of free pick and mid journey. And now finally we have the one done in free pick converted to video using Minimax Hilo O2. And again, now we're gonna have multiple videos that all turned out great simply because our images looked so good. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.